We just got this beautiful mini orchid as a gift. It's a beautiful color, nice plant, leaves are great. This is a really healthy plant, but it has one big problem. And this problem kills more orchids than anything else I can think of. If you're new to orchids, or you've killed orchids that have been recently purchased, you need to watch this video. So what's wrong with this orchid? Got a nice decorative pot. It has an inner pot. And the inner pot has drainage holes. So provided you don't let it sit in here with water in this container, it will be fine. The problem with this orchid is that it's been planted in sphagnum moss. Now you can grow orchids in sphagnum moss. The problem is that most beginner orchids have problems with it. They keep it too wet, and that's what rots the roots. Once the roots are rotted, the plant dies. Now, I've been growing orchids for 40 years, and even I struggle with peat moss in here. I've just never really got the hang of it, and I find bark and coconut chunks so much more reliable. I never kill an orchid in that, but I have killed some in sphagnum moss. So you have two options here. You can wait until this plant is finished flowering and then repot it, or you can repot it now. This plant is just starting to open its buds. I'm gonna guess it's gonna flower for at least six months. I don't wanna wait that long to change the media in here, because in six months, with this media, it's probably gonna be a dead orchid. So even though it's flowering, I will repot it right now, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. When I do the repotting here, I'm going to be very careful not to damage any of the flowering stems. So rather than hold the plant, I'm going to actually hold these flowering stems. To get the pot off, just give it a squeeze. This is a nice soft plastic, so it should come off easily. Squeeze it all around. That will loosen the roots from the pot, and see if it comes out. Yeah, that was easy. It's got some pretty good looking roots. They're nice and green because it's been recently watered. On these two, I don't see any rotting. There are some roots up here though that don't look nearly so good. There's a dead one. There's another one that's not very good right here. Another one that's not very good. So we have to get all this moss off. So gently pry it out. Try to do as little damage to the roots as you can. You can see that I was being very careful to get as much of this moss out as I can. A little bit left behind is okay, but try to get it all out. It's just going to cause you problems. problem. Now let's have a look at the roots. Quite a few of these are quite nice. If they're green or white, right to the tip, that's a good root. This one here has a small skinny wire thing coming out the end of it. Well this part is the actual root. The thicker part out here is mostly velamen, which is a spongy material that surrounds the real part of the root. When you see this wiry stuff, that's a dead root tip. So we might as well get rid of that. I cut the root back at a point where it's green, and I want to get rid of all the black stuff. There's another one up here that doesn't look very good. If we don't cut these off, they're just going to rot in the pot anyway, so we might as well get rid of them now. 
All right, the rest looks pretty good. Now we got to figure out what size of pot to use. Now I've got some larger pots here and that fits in there fairly well, but it's really too much space. The orchid came in this size pot and that's actually the right size. I happen to have one that's pretty close to that and I'm going to use this here. Repotting is really simple. Put the orchid in the new pot, hold it in the center, and start putting the new media into the pot. Now what do you use here? I like coconut husk. It's nice and chunky and works really well. I also have some of this finer bark material and it will work well too, particularly in a smaller pot because this will stay a little wetter than the coconut husks I usually use. The coconut husk chunks are a little bigger than this, maybe twice the size, so they dry out a little quicker. But for this small pot, these will be fine. Whatever you do, don't use real soil. Put them in the pot and then work it down into the bottom with your fingers. Give it a tap. You want this to settle well in this new pot. And you'll notice I do a bit on this side and then I rotate the pot around and do a bit on this side. That keeps the orchid centered well in the pot. Give it a good press. You don't have to worry about harming those roots. Remember, they're covered in that protective vellum and coating. If the orchid had a pretty good root system, that's all you need. You can see that this is quite sturdy in here. You don't need any kind of clips here. If you had a very small root system, then you'll want to use an orchid clip. And I have a separate video to show you how to make one of those. Job done. I'll water this in, and I have a video to show you how to do that. And this orchid will be fine. It probably will bloom for six to eight months. Growing orchids can be very intimidating and lots of people have killed them and so they think they're hard to grow. The exact opposite is true. These are some of the easiest houseplants to grow provided you do it properly. There are some rules you should follow. Now I've been growing orchids for over 40 years. I put together a set of videos to show you everything you need to know about growing orchids. And you can get to that set of videos right here. Have fun growing your orchids.